What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey everybody, Jonathan here from Mini Superheroes Today, and today I'm at Lego House in Beeland, Denmark, the ultimate Lego fan experience. And today I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of walking through the front door, checking out all the great Lego stuff inside, and taking the full tour. So let's head in and see what we can get into. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I was definitely expecting it to be massive, but the size of this building is just absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, of course, right here to the right, we have the shop, so that's gonna be really exciting because, of course, we have our exclusives. I can see a lot of them from here, but uh, for right now, we've gotta check in here, and then we'll kinda explore the lobby and see what all there is to see. Okay, so when you get here, you wanna get your ticket in advance if you can, and then you just stand in here and get your wristbands for the day. Look at that, Lego house wristbands with our name on it. How cool is that? All right, let's get these on and we'll start the day. So much to take in here. We've got the 90 years of play display right here. The cake was just spinning a minute ago. I don't know what makes it spin or not, but uh, man, amazing builds. Friends, Life of George. Looks like some kind of mind storm, something or other. Pirates, castle, the marching band from Legoland, vintage truck, and of course, bricks at the top. Amazing. What's your channel name? Uh, I don't really have a channel, but okay. I'm planning to have one. That's awesome, man. Keep up the great work. That's awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, so they have a take your own photo station here, so you just use your wristband. There you go, and now I'm here. All right, so that's a quick overview of the lobby. There's so much excitement here already. There's so much more to show you, but for now, let's head in and start the adventure. So our uh, go-in time is at 11, so we've had about an hour to kill here in the lobby. The wait's killing me. <laughs> Ain't killing me. So this is it. This is one of the big exclusives. It's the Lego house wooden duck based off of one of the earliest Lego toys that there was back when they made wooden toys. And, uh, I can't wait to take one of these home, or maybe more than one. Gonna buy whatever their limit is. That's incredible. Here's another one of the exclusives, the Architecture Lego House. So this is literally the building we're standing in right now. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever held a Lego set of a building while standing in that exact same building. <laughs> That's so cool. And it's exclusive, you can only get it here. Exclusives, gonna need all of these. The Lego House keychain, got the Lego House girl. Lego house little boy, Lego house little girl. Guess there's no Lego house man. Oh well. Star Wars land, incredible. I guess they forgot to put down Commander Cody's visor though. <laughs> oh, check this out. It's signed by the set designer. So they also have pick a brick here, pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know that we have time to go over every single element here, but this one looks pretty cool. The trans blue one by two. Yeah, you could spend a month of Sundays here, that's for sure. Wonder how often people are like, oh, where can I buy this set? <laughs> here we go, superheroes. I want to see if there's any signed by the set designers like they had in Star Wars. I don't see any here. Nope, doesn't look like they have any superheroes signed. With my luck, it would be this one that would be signed. <laughs> All right, picking up my exclusive loot. We'll do a full haul video later, but it does look pretty awesome right now. <laughs> All right, the time is here, so let's buzz in and get started. There we go. So right off the bat, we come in and we've got the Brigatino, but I love that all this stuff is branded like uh, Larry. It's pretty awesome. 
so there's a cool fun fact out there that Lego bricks can be sorted in hundreds of thousands of different ways. So it's pretty cool that they've had a lot of the, you know, Lego master designers try out different ways you can do it. And uh, they have a whole bin right here where you can make your own. So there's one of the 700 million ways you can arrange the bricks. Okay, so what we're walking up on here is an actual machine that makes Lego bricks. So we'll walk you through the whole process of how they're made and you can see it right here. And that is how Lego bricks are made. How amazing. So if you scan your armband here, it tells you which combination you are. You know, if you take six bricks, you could be one of hundreds of thousands of combinations. So let's see which one I am. The anticipation is killing me. Wow, you know, it's always what I dreamt of. I just always thought that that was my true Lego form. <laughs> you get a card of it too. What? <laughs> wow. Wow, you know, I've had people tell me I'm one in a million, but now I need to tell them I'm actually one in 293,978. The odds just got worse, folks. <laughs> pretty amazing to see the tree that runs the whole way through Lego house. And I think the cool thing too is, of course, you've got the founder's initials carved in the tree here, but Lego started initially as a wooden toy company. So I love the idea that we've got a wooden toy made into the tree. As we go up, we'll get to explore even more at Lego house. So this is an interesting museum in that you actually walk all the way up to the top floor. So we just went around the tree and you saw that. And now we're in the Masterpiece Gallery upstairs. And I mean, come on, need I say more? Look at this giant dinosaur. And if that one isn't cool enough for you, there's actually two more waiting for you. Let's check them out.
So of course, the only thing I love more than Lego is the Beatles, and here we've got both. So many classic album covers, Please Please Me with the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, and it's kind of 3D if you look at it from an angle, it really pops. Uh, and then of course, Magical Mystery Tour, love the Ninjago mask in the center there, that's great. Abbey Road, we were just there two days ago, crazy. And then of course, Rubber Soul, really, really phenomenal. They all look great. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely jaw dropping. Amazing. I can't even imagine how many Easter eggs are hidden in the bookshelves and stuff like that. That is just jaw dropping. We haven't even seen everything there is to see, but I did think it was quite cool that they recognized the recognized LEGO fan media, which is what I am through the Ambassador Network and YouTube channel. So there's 45 of us right now, and it's a pretty big honor to be among them and have just a little tiny, tiny recognition among everything else here. It's pretty incredible, pretty humble. Okay, so we're about to head to the LEGO Brick Builder, AKA the Red Zone, and as you can see down here, it's just a ton of rebuilding so there's all the yellow pieces all kinds of pieces and uh we'll see what we can get into down here it looks like it is a little bit more for the kids but uh you know hey love to build too look at that like colors coming out of the walls it's incredible man so much to see It's pretty cool that these are displayed by guests. So if you come here and you build something really, really cool or really unique, it just might end up in this case here. I want to take every break for the rest of my life on these chairs. This is amazing. <laughs> ah, the only thing worse than stepping on a Lego brick is sitting on one. <laughs> So this is the red terrace. It is so quiet out here, other than me talking, so we're gonna keep it to a minimum. And of course, you've got a great view of Beeland, Denmark. Lego House fans can add a piece to the cake, which is quite cool. So in this section, you can build your own test car. So we'll just pick this one up here and show you. They've got all the pieces. You can make whatever you want. And there's even crash dummy minifigures around. Pretty rad. Man, these terraces are just so amazing. This is the blue terrace, and of course you've got these monkey bars you can climb all over. You've got a cool wooden helicopter here. I'm not gonna try to get in it because I don't want to blow out my knees, but the monkey bars are cool. And we'll head back inside. So this is really cool. It's like a digital construction. So you build something and then you move it and it will put a street planner around it. And if you put it near somewhere that there's already streets, it'll just move it on out. How cool is that? And I guess it knows that this one is like a sports arena because that one can't be moved, but you can move anything else around it. Puts a roundabout there, man, amazing. So over here we have a robotics lab playing into the Mindstorms theme and it's pretty cool to see not only what people are building but also what they're controlling through the little portal. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're headed down for lunch and of course Lunch at Lego House is an experience too. We're gonna eat at the Mini Chef restaurant where you actually build your own meal. Yeah, you heard that right. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so Mini Chef restaurant, it's a building and food experience all rolled into one. 
as you can see, there's some contraptions going around, but we'll walk you through the whole thing, don't worry. Super excited. <laughs> Understandable. Have you been here before? This is the first time. <laughs> Do you get the table right here? Right here. Yes, right here okay. in the middle of all the excitement. All right, so we're seated. The process has not started quite yet, but of course we've got Lego salt and pepper shakers. These will come in handy in just a minute because like I said, you literally build your meal here. It's gonna be amazing. So you can get any kind of drink you want. So here's the crazy thing. Here in Denmark, there is no free water. I mean, it's next to free. It's like basically nothing. In the States, it's just like water's on the house of restaurants, but not here. So I'm gonna go still water. A human helper will bring your drinks. That's probably the most archaic way I've ever heard that described. <laughs> And we've got our menu here in good old English. So you open it up and basically you pick the colors out of the bag that you want. So let's say you want the awesome chicken, you use a one by one. If you want the strong and feisty beef meatballs, you use a one by four and so on. So you literally build your meal. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so here's how it's done. You get this little poly bag as we've talked about and you just kind of dump your pieces out and then you pick out which things you want from the menu. So for me, I think I'm gonna go awesome chicken, which is this guy right here. I'm gonna go for the three-in-one carrots, which is this right here. I'm gonna go for the nom nom fries with truffle mayo. They had me a truffle. I'm gonna go for the one-two tomato salad. That sounds pretty good. So that's gonna be my build. And now you can build it in any which way you want. So I think I'm gonna build it up a little bit like that. Then you place it on here and you put it into the machine. That looks correct to me. So there we go, we got our orders in. We are ready to go. Hey, that's not the meal I ordered. Actually, that is. <laughs> and there you go. Now we play the waiting game. And as Tom Petty says, the waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> Amazing. Can't wait to see what it looks like. How awesome is it? The Lego meal is served in a giant Lego brick, just like we saw in the animation. And the top lifts off. Oh man, does that look good. Wow. And there should be two layers here. All right, so it should lift up. Oh man, that looks so good. Danish lunch right here at Lego House. We're gonna do a one bite here. All right, so there's so much here to try. We're gonna do this really quick. So we've got a one bite on the chicken. Looks really, really good. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Very, very moist chicken. Has an interesting seasoning on it too. Got our carrots here. We've got all kinds of different carrots too. The carrots are excellent. I've never had carrot chips before. That's a really cool touch. Let's try the fries here. Got a little aioli on the side. I could drink that sauce, no joke. That is amazing. Of course, we've got a little salad over here, some tomatoes, some cheese. Super, super fresh. Hard to kind of mess up basic ingredients. For the whole meal on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. I think it's really fresh. Everything's really good, but it's certainly not like a Michelin, you know, restaurant or anything like that. The experience alone though is absolutely amazing. And if you're coming to Lego House, you have to do this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna dig in. Well, you guys have to get these. Those are the bricks from the channel. What set did you bring? Uh, oh, the Wolverine Mag. Make. There you go. Okay, so we just got curious. We saw Lego History and Lego Cinema. 
So we just took the elevator ride down, and I feel like we shouldn't be here, but we are, so whatever. Wow, the original molds. Wow. That's crazy, you know, as Lego fans, right? We love the brick, we love the legacy behind it. And what you're looking at here are the molds that created the plastic that brings us all together. That's really powerful when you sit and think about it. These molds are responsible for the community we've built, the friends we've made, the memories we've had. That's just incredible to me. So the vault collection is unbelievable here. I mean, seeing all those wooden toys is amazing, but this is where it really starts to come to life for me. Uh, in fact, just a few minutes ago, I actually teared up a little bit just thinking about, you know, how this transition has affected my life. And, you know, it's the whole reason you're watching this video now. It's brought us all together, but it's really cool watching it shift from wooden toys into die cast toys. And then back here, we've got a whole town set up where the two come together. So we've got the bricks and we've got the die cast. And from here, it just continues to evolve into the brand we know and love today. But this is just astonishing to me. What an amazing piece of history. So, you know, we know that Lego sets today are basically assembled by machine, but look at these photos of sorting the pieces hand by hand, one by one, into each individual box. Man, that is just so special. So here we have some breathtaking history. Once again, I got a little emotional looking at this stuff. These are prototype minifigures before the minifigure as we know it debuted in 1978. I mean, look at the cool space people there. Like that was almost the minifig that we got. These are actually pretty cool. They honestly kind of look like mega blocks. Can you say that here? I don't know, I guess I just did. Oh no, here comes security. No, I'm just kidding. But I just love seeing all of these cool concepts with the painted on faces, just until they could figure out what the minifigure was gonna become. Look at this, even in the cast molding right there. That's just so crazy. Look how big the minifig could have been. I think that that was really more for probably just modeling and scaling, but based on the information we're given here, it's hard to say. But it's really cool just watching the evolution. Look, look at those legs with the space in between them. That actually would be pretty cool for like an alternative kind of, uh, you know, leg build today. But I love these back here. They're so close to what we know and love as minifigs, but not quite there. Really just amazing stuff to see. And then of course, if we pan up just a little bit, the minifig we know and love debuted in 1978. And there's some of the first ones in some smaller sets. I love that little fire chief set, the police car, just so cool. And to think how far we've come to, to go from those to Commander Cody. <laughs> All right, this room we're about to walk into is quite literally insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there's like, the play map we were looking at over there. Here's another one right here. It's so cool too, it's kind of like a board game in a lot of ways. But all of these original boxes in pristine condition. So that's from 58 to 71. 72 to 77 over here. Truly amazing. I actually have that police boat. I guess I never looked and realized it was that old, but I have that police station too. I've got that police station. Look at the cool newsroom, her living room setting there, the little boy cowboys there. It's incredible. Then of course we really get into the sweet stuff here in the Yellow Knights Castle in the box right there. It's pretty cool to see stuff scaled up like that. Classic space, incredible. Got your Fabu Land. I don't know what's more impressive, the sets on their own or the sets and the pristine boxes. The whole presentation is just incredible. 
So we pick up again in 1984 to 88, some classic sets here. I actually have that hospital, so my heart just skipped a beat knowing that I have a set that LEGO deems worthy to appear in their official museum. <laughs> How about that? This takes us from 88 to 91. Of course, that gives us the original pirate ship. I've got that as well. Amazing set, but we've got all kinds of classic space in here still. Wow. The uh, little beachside restaurant. That is phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Got some crazy castle stuff here. This is the 92 to 95 wave. Paradisa as well. Short-lived theme, but I always love the color scheme on those. Really incredible. So now this brings us from 96 to 99, which is the debut of LEGO Star Wars, and to some extent the debut of LEGO bricks that are licensed, which is just incredible in its own right. Uh, maybe even more incredible than that, we get LEGO Scala, everybody's favorite something. No, I'm just kidding, but it is pretty cool. We've got the Wild West sets here, Scala beneath that, Fort LEGO Retto underneath. Got some Johnny Thunder adventurers, and of course, Darth Vader and the tie. This brings us a little bit more into the modern era, although we're still about 20 years back on the clock, the year 2000. I mean, look at the studio set. Got your original lineup of Bionicle there. Wow. <laughs> Harry Potter, from the first movie. Now we get into the NBA sets from 2003 to 2005. That gets us not only uh, NBA, which I just mentioned with the ultimate set there, but if we move up, we've got Vikings, which was great. Star Wars with the ARC-170. Got the original Ferrari stuff, Technica pop. Like I said, too, it's just amazing to see these boxes in such mint condition. It's just adds a whole nother layer of complexity. If we move over here, this takes us from 2006 to 2007, and now getting into the modern era of LEGO. So much stuff is coming out so quick that it's all going to get squished together. <laughs> but we've got Exoforce up there. We've got the AT, at Technic Tow Truck. I mean, just incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. I'm shaking in my boots as we move to the next one because we've got Lego Indiana Jones in this setup. So we've got Race for the Treasure there. We've got the uh, Panagra Airways set. Got another just stone cold classic pirate ship and the return of the pirates theme in general. Wow. If you zoom in on Indiana Jones, he has Mutt Williams' face. He doesn't have the correct Indiana Jones face. All right, 2009 to 2010, that gives us Toy Story. We've got the Woody's Roundup set back there, the Burrow from Harry Potter. Now we get into Ninjago, we get into some Star Wars again, Jabba's Palace, incredible set. Incredible. Of course, this brings you first wave of Ninjago. Got the Hobbit. That Ninjago set is just incredible. 2013 to 2014 gets you into the Lego movie. Got some Duplo here. Admittedly, this one isn't so exciting, so we'll move on. 2015, 2016, uh, I have yet to see anything Lego Marvel. Where's Lego Marvel? Where's Lego DC? Come on, man. Got 2017 to 2018. Get a little more Star Wars thrown in there. Some great Ninjago. 2019 to present. So this is all stuff that's been on store shelves relatively recently and to some extent still. But I gotta say guys, we have gone through this whole museum section and not a nothing from Lego Marvel or Lego DC. Who do I need to talk to? You know how uh, the for, uh, Thor's name is, uh, Thor's hammer's name is Mjolnir? Yes. How oh, right. he called it Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. Yeah, so you know the uh, this plate on the hammer. Oh, dude, I would be honored. Okay, so I'm signing his plate, David's plate, for his Mjolnir set because of the Paul Rudd Jonathan joke. We'll insert that here. Jonathan? When you put that on your Mjolnir, will you send me a picture of it? Yes. That's awesome, dude. All right, so we're in the yellow section now, and this is the flower section. So you can see people have built some pretty amazing flowers. 
They don't quite smell like a normal flower would, but that's okay. It's still really fun in here, and it's pretty cool to see people be creative. I love when people are given like the same amount of pieces, same amount of parts, and they can figure out anything to do with it. I love seeing the creativity. All right, so this is the mood mixer section of the yellow room. And basically, you can build whatever you want, whatever feeling you're feeling. And then when you put it on the computer, it uploads it to the screen and it'll start dancing and hanging out with everybody else. I think that's quite cool that, you know, you can digitize your creations like that. And then they can live on at least for a little while up on the wall. There. So here you have a fish designer. This is like straight out of the Lego movie where you build it here and then you scan it in right here and then it pops up in the little aquarium. And now we've saved the best for last. We're in the green room, which is the world builder room. So kind of like Miniland at Legoland or even to some extent like Brick Fair or Brick World or other Lego conventions, you can see that there's big city setups here and it looks like it's just turning into nightfall. Let's take a look. So there's a story lab here where you can actually do your own uh, little Lego production. So see these dudes here working hard. It's cool that they've actually got like a set already for you to build around and on. We don't have time for it today, unfortunately. I wish we did. Pretty cool with the end product. I need one of these in my house. Okay, so this is build a mini fig on steroids. This is absolutely crazy. Look at all these minifig parts. It looks like a lot of pieces from the build a minifig section at the Lego store, but still amazing stuff. Like there's Ernie's or Bert's torso. I always get those two confused. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Wonder if you make these if you're allowed to keep them. Okay, we are at the top of the steps for Lego house. The view from up here is absolutely amazing. Definitely will uh, wind you a little bit hiking up those steps, but man, look at the view. So cool. We are just in small town Denmark, taking in all the sights. This has been amazing. All right, so many superheroes today, fan and follower David, showed us the way to get even higher on the roof. So there's steps from the yellow area that get you up to here. Kind of like some playground stuff going on. Got a downed hot air balloon right here. Wooden, of course. Now we've got even more steps. The view just keeps getting better and better up here, too. And we can go up again, I think. Holy cow. So the top of the Lego house, of course, are giant Lego bricks, and you can see inside. There's the dinosaur. Wow, and the view up here is breathtaking. All right, anybody else tired? <laughs> well, that's it, guys. The home of the brick, Lego house is behind us. And we had such a fun day. I wanna know what was your favorite part of the day? And if you could come here and experience one thing, what would you want that to be? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out my other vlog footage from this trip to B-Lund, including Legoland. We stopped in London on the way over. There's so much more coming to the channel or it may be already up, depends when this video gets posted. But regardless, thanks for hanging out till the end. Let me know what you thought. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. You should hit like and subscribe down below for more LEGO content from me because I post just about every single day. You'll be up to date on all the latest in LEGO, so why not join my community and hit subscribe now.